Anybody home? Oh. Uh, oh. My goodness, that was a surprise. Not entirely bad, I hope. No. <laughs> it's the best one all day. Doesn't say much for your day. Come, sit down. This is nice. It's just what I wanted. Which is? Oh, a little peace, some detachment. Bobby's at the brownstone with Lucas, and I just, you know, needed to get out for a while. How are things? Awful. I'm sorry. Nah, you know, it's my fault, as usual. Tony, no, I... no, it really is. I readily accept blame for this one because I have to say Bobby is trying. She has apologized. She's admitted she made a mistake. She's begged for forgiveness and understanding. And, and? I just can't do it. My heart turns to stone. Probably because I don't have one. I... I really believe that when they took BJ's, they got mine too, sliced it right out of my chest. I miss that little girl so much. It's killing me. I can't even imagine it. You know, um, just a moment ago before you came up, I was standing over there. Mm -hmm. And you see where the earth has been disturbed? Um, we found a body there. Mary May Ward's son, Bradley. I heard that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it... It struck me what it would mean to lose a child. And I thought about Lucky and the new life inside me and, and BJ, of course. And even though Bradley died many years ago, that loss is somehow... Still, at the center of his mother's life, it, it defines her in a way that I don't even understand. And I thought about you. And I ached because I really don't know how to help you with this. You can't. And I wish you could. I wish somebody could. Laura, it's like a light went out. All the illumination that used to be my world is just suddenly gone, and it's so dark. It's darker than the blackest night. And I never realized how bright BJ was, how that smile dazzled. She was, she had a spirit. Mm -hmm an elfishness, sort of, in her eyes and in her voice and in her steps. Do you know that she used to bounce when she walked? It was like she had to hold herself down, to force herself down, earthbound, so that the rest of us were okay. But she knew that she could take off and fly away anytime she wanted to. And I can close my eyes and I can see her listening so intently. Like whatever I had to say was the most important thing that she would ever hear. Or I can remember that she would say things and she would give me a look and I would know that I was the smartest, I was the best daddy. And you tend to take those things for granted you think that they'll always be there and you'll watch her grow up and you'll have fights with her about boyfriends and music and clothes. And then the unthinkable happens. It's, it's just an ordinary day. It's just out of nowhere. And the light goes out. 
and you wake up in the morning and you you forget for a minute it's like it was just some horrible nightmare and and i expect her to to come running in and jump on the bed and then you realize as it comes rushing back that it's not a dream it's real and you lie there and you get this sick feeling inside and you have no idea how you're going to drag yourself out of bed or get through the day and somehow you do and then relentlessly the next day comes and you start the same thing over again you just don't know whether you like it or not whether you want to or not and sometimes i just don't want to anymore i really